Before we begin, proper prep is always number one. Inspect your piece inside and out. You can clean your project well with white lightning or pristine clean. After your piece is all clean, don't forget to rinse it really well with water before you begin to paint. Don't forget to do the inside and the backs and insides of the drawers. Dixie Bell Mud is great for fixing any holes or veneer repairs. All you need to do is put it on, wait for it to dry, and sand it back to flat with sandpaper. Then you're ready for paint. After I sanded back that mud from repair, I wanted to add a Would You Bend molding to cover that area. I'll be drilling a hole in my Would You Bend molding for a new hardware at the end of this video. Would You Bend is amazing for any small detail work, covering any repairs, or just adding a bunch of fun to your piece. Would You Bend moldings are actually really easy to use. All you need to do is flip them upside down and heat up the back. You can use a hair dryer or a heat gun. Once that's warm, you're going to apply wood glue to the back of the molding and adhere it to your piece. Once you've taped it and held it flat, you're gonna make sure that you heat it one more time with that heat gun, just to ensure that it's flat to the piece and stuck very well. As soon as it's on, you're ready for paint. This molding will hide that area where I had the mud to repair that massive hole. At one point, there probably was a keyhole, which was long gone, the casings removed, and the knob was not fitting securely. When this dries, I will drill a new hole and stick my hardware right through the middle. You can find your Woody Bend moldings under Tools on the Dixie Bell Paint page. This little washstand needed an extra little bit of TLC on the inside. I made sure to condition the interior with Big Mama's Butter. I also then painted the interior of the drawers with Rusty Nail. It was also missing a top, so let's add some new boards to the top. I measured the top piece of the washstand and had some boards cut to size. These boards are actually very cheap at Home Depot or Lowe's. I then distressed them and sanded the edges before I added my gel stain. I stained the plank boards on the sides and the top with no paint gel stain in Colonial Black. I like to use an applicator pad so I can get a nice smooth application. Once it's dry, I will drill them down with my screws on the top of the washstand. This will give it a really rustic feel. Depending on your heat and humidity, it might take a little longer for your gel stain to dry if you apply it too thickly. I wanted a little bit of the wood grain to show through, so I only applied one even coat. When this dries, I will seal it with gator hide. You could also use clear coat. I wanted to get a beautiful cloudy effect on this vintage washstand. I wanted it to look a little bit rustic and not a lot painted. So I did very thin layers of paint. I put down the first two coats using Hurricane Gray in the middle and caviar on the edges. Once that initial coat had dried, I came back in and applied my second coat of color. This is where your best dang brush is gonna come into action. I love this brush for giving me a cloudy finish. If you're able to hold it gently, use your water misting bottle to keep it damp, you're gonna be able to ombre those colors together very easily. 
Since I plan on adding some decoupage paper to the front of this washstand, I made sure that the center of the drawers and the door where I will be applying it is a bit lighter. Depending on your paper and the thickness, you might see the paint color underneath your decoupage paper. Here's my handy dandy tip of the day. If you hold that brush closer to the bristles, you're going to have a little bit more control. I like to use a circular motion to get a really pretty cloudy effect. I pre-drilled the holes for the plank wood and then screwed down from the top. Let's add the new Art Deco bird pattern paper. This paper is really easy to use because it's a rice paper, which means that it doesn't tear very easily. I measured the area and then cut the paper to size. You can still cut it back if it doesn't fit well easily by scoring the edges and then cutting along that seam. When I apply my decoupage paper, I like to put down a layer of clear coat or gator hide. After applying that clear coat or gator hide, you can adhere your paper to the piece. Then starting in the middle, use easy brush strokes with either your clear coat or gator hide and push out the bubbles until it's flat. After my gator hide had dried, I actually went back over top with my clear wax. This is going to dull the finish a bit and give it more of a deeper grungy finish. I continued with my decoupage paper and added it to the drawer fronts. On the sides of the drawers, you can see that there's a slight overhang. Once it dries, you can easily sand back that paper to get a clean edge. After everything had dried, I went back over it with my clear wax. This is going to dull that shine from the gator hide. I also added some darker black wax in the crevices. And no peace of mind would be done without a tiny bit of shine somewhere. So I came in with my bronze gilding wax and a small brush just around all of the edges to give it a tiny bit of a glow. My washstand makeover is finally complete. I love it. That beautiful paper with the Art Deco birds matches the original hardware perfectly. That new rustic top 
accents the piece and gives it new life. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow me on all social media at the top drawer RVA.